Kulber Tapa, a legendary Gurkha whose actions set the standard for bravery and compassion expected from Gurkha soldiers. On 25th of September 2021 at Aldershot Town, Hampshire, UK, statue of Kobe Fapa was unveiled. Kobe Fapa was the first Gurkha to receive Victoria Cross, the British Army's highest award for bravery. Kulbir Tapa served the British Army during the First World War, also known as the Great War. Very few people ever really understood precisely what the First World War was about. It was probably the same for the soldiers fighting the war. The First World War started in 1914 when Archduke of Austria-Hungary, Franz Ferdinand, heir to the Austrian-Hungary throne, was assassinated by a man called Gabriela Princip, a Serbian nationalist born in Austria-Hungary. It was a different world back then. Austria-Hungary was a nation compromising of different modern-day countries such as Hungary, Austria and Bosnia. Austria-Hungary's ally Germany declared war on Serbia's ally, Russia, and Russia's ally, France. Great Britain, who was allied with Russia and France, then declared war on Germany in retaliation. The European continent was soon engulfed in war due to being involved in military alliance. Because European nations had numerous colonies around the world, the war soon became a global conflict. On 25th of September 1915, Kobir Tapa found himself in Focusard, France, more than 3,000 miles away from his home in Nepal. Due to advancement of weapons such as the machine gun, soldiers like Kobir Tapa fought from trenches. During the war, each side constructed trenches underground. The area between opposing trench lines was called no man's land, which was usually full of barbed wires to make advancement difficult. Kulbir Tapa's battalion was ordered to attack the German trenches. Kulbir Tapa was in one of the leading companies during the assault. Many of his fellow soldiers were killed trying to breach the German barbed wire. Kulbir Tapa made it through the barbed wire but was wounded on the German side. There was not many survivors and he was at the enemy territory. Nearby, he noticed a badly wounded British soldier. Kulbir went towards the wounded British soldier. Kulbir was urged by the British soldier to save himself. The wounded British soldier seemed to have accepted his fate, so he probably wanted Colbert to save himself. Colbert decided not to leave the wounded soldier. He could not leave this man for some reason. Colbert Tapa stayed with the wounded British soldier all day and night, comforting him with little English he knew. On the morning of the 26th of September, 1915, using the cover of fog, Colbert picked up the wounded British soldier and carried him over the German trench and threw the barbed wires at the no man's land whilst under fire. At the British side of the no man's land, Kobir Tapa placed the wounded British soldier in a shell crater, which is basically a hole on the ground. Kobir Tapa then decided to go back to the German trenches to get two badly wounded men of his own regiment. One at a time, Kobir Tapa carried the two men back to the British front line. Finally, in broad daylight, under heavy fire and whilst being badly wounded, Kobir Tapa returned to the no man's land to get the British wounded soldier. Whilst returning to the British front line with the wounded British soldier, the German army stopped firing at Colbert. The gunshots were replaced with applause upon seeing bravery from Colbert. Even the German soldiers who were supposed to be his enemies could not help but acknowledge Colbert's bravery. Colbert survived the war and passed away in 1956 at the age of 68. His legacy lives on as people have not forgotten his act of bravery and compassion. I was fortunate enough to attend the unveiling of the statue. I even made a cameo on ITV News. Before I go, I just want to say there is currently a film being made about Kulbir Tapa. The film is called Gurkha Beneath the Bravery, so keep an eye out for it if you're interested. Thank you for listening.